Hey everybody, JRad here. Well, welcome to the Big Brother of Azura. This is the original Hal Halmecra map um, that Azura was based off of. They actually used this map and upgraded it and did what they wanted to with it. So because of the whole politics with Azura, I, I had made a video saying I would no longer do a series on Azura, <clears throat> which is unfortunate because it had some nice key elements that were very fun for the game, as far as digging, laying pipe, and, you know, stuff like that. So this is just, just a logging map, so we'll take a look at the map, and you'll see that it's pretty much the same map. It's the same layout. It's got a few less roads, because they obviously added some. It doesn't have the you know the uh, the silo plant and stuff like that so it, it's pretty basic um, logging map and I wish I had found this a long time ago I didn't even know this map was out there so um, yeah I haven't played on it yet so this is actually gonna be pretty fun for me um, so we're gonna start off with some logging here so let's um check out what we got for vehicles here so we got a Nice tractor. We got the old uh, grapple log trailer, which we will be getting rid of. That's nice. We got a we got a loader right off the bat. Nice. And it's got a log fork too. All right, that's awesome. So that'll come in handy. Um, so yeah, I really don't have much to sell. Um, this I would assume would be for wood chips, because you can do wood chips in this game in this map so interesting so I have a hundred thousand dollars I will be definitely selling this trailer and uh, buying a different type of trailer and maybe something else but um, might end up selling the wood chip trailer I don't think I'm gonna do wood chips right off the bat so let's um let's go over and uh, buy a three-wheeler and take a ride take a look at the map and it should be down here somewhere Oop, there it is good old big red nice cool all right well before we do that let's do our normal settings I don't auto save time scale 2 and three day months and we will oh I should probably name the game as well so let's name it Palmet oop I'm gonna put this as V1 I can put a space between that oop I didn't want that okay cool That'll work, and we'll save this. Nice. All right. So let's take a look at this map. Let's see what this bad boy looks like. So it's it's got the same buildings here that it did in Azura, which is nice. Um, hadn't really explored this part of the map when I was at it in Azura yet but apparently our uh, our sleeping point is up here on the left right there a little house so this is a, based on a Scandinavian um, area um, so that's pretty cool. So we can sleep there. Let's see, what's this? Yeah, sleep there. What's the other one? Oh, I think I know what the other one is. It's our closet. Okay. Cool. Alright. So let's check this out. This, um... If I remember correctly, this is our main road. 
that goes all the way around and it comes down here. So down here we have a selling station for wooden wood chips and a drying station for boards. So I guess you can dry out some boards. You have the sawmill here and the drying station. So from what I gather, you bring your, bring your uh, logs in to the sawmill, it turns them into boards, and then you gotta put them in the drying station. And then when they're dry, you bring them over here and you sell them at the dry station selling the dry station boards or whatever yeah so anyway so that's one of the ways you can make money the other way is obviously just selling the logs straight up and wood chips straight up um which that is a long ride <laughs> so let's let's check this out that is a really long ride i'm wondering if there's a way i could make a shortcut somehow eventually i did add uh terraform the, the terraform mod and um I haven't really played with it too much, so maybe I'll uh, try to practice with it somewhere and we'll uh, see if we can make a road that goes all the way over there. That'd be kind of cool. Be fun, something fun to play with. But first off, I mean, the forest looks pretty good. It's um, It definitely looks like a replanted forest. Uh, I think... In the Azura map, they actually uh, added more bushes and stuff in between the trees, which actually looks a little better, but it still looks pretty decent. Um, I might actually even go in and add some myself. I'm kind of curious. But we got some uh, newly planted growth here. That's what the blue is. Let's go up this hill. Let's check this out. This is a steep hill. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That is bumpy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. So, this is pretty much all regenerated forests. Um, so, it doesn't have much bushes in between. I, I think the, the nice thing that Azora did was the mod makers actually put a lot of bushes in between the trees and had a lot more um, smaller trees in there as well so um, I don't know I might you know after this video maybe I'll go in and I'll, I'll put a whole bunch in just to give it a give it a little more realism it might take me a couple hours though if I do decide to do that so but man this road is bumpy look at that bump right there it's gonna be like yeehaw <laughs> oh my goodness so I'm wondering if I could level these roads with the terra farm. That'd be kind of cool. But I have a weird feeling it's some kind of map texture because it, ha it has the same the same look all the way around. But we'll see. Maybe I could uh, maybe I could lay stones on top of it. I'm not sure. We'll have to figure that out. But yeah. So this is. Um, this is a pretty cool logging map. I mean, it's the best one I've seen that I've looked at so far. Like, that looks cool. See, so you got the different kind of trees in there. I like that. I like how that looks. You got some birches mixed with some pines and some um, spruces. That looks nice. So, cool. Oh my gosh, this is really bumpy. Yeah, I'm wondering if I would be able to level these roads out, because that would be nice, because then I could get a shortcut to get over to that other area. But, I see that little bumps like that, I've seen them here and there, so it makes me wonder if it's some kind of texture that you probably have to cover. We'll see. We'll look into it. But yeah, this is a pretty nice map. Um... So I can see why the mod makers for Azura actually chose this map to re revive, because this is probably one of the nicest looking. Look at that! That is beautiful. That's cool. I like this. I just don't like how bumpy these roads are. This is kind of throw throwing me all over the place. I can imagine what it's like with a trailer full of logs and stuff. Oh my goodness. But, yeah, this looks cool. 
Yeah, see how we got some trees mixed in with trees? That's kind of nice. I wish there were a little more small trees in there, like this side has some small trees. And some bushes, because nobody's mowing that. You know, come on. Hundreds of acres, nobody's going in with a brush hog and going through all that. There's going to be some kind of growth in there. At least bushy anyway. So, but I would say, oh, I'm at a dead end. Interesting. I would say um, out of 10, I would definitely give this like a 7. Most of the other maps I've looked at, it, it just, you can see right through them all the way to like the edge of the map and it just, yeah, doesn't do it for me. So let's, um, try to find our way where am I I'm right there see like yeah it'd be nice if this was like a we could make a road ourselves to get up to this road I wonder if I can go off road and get up to that road let's give that a shot I don't know how steep this is Hold up. oh gosh oh gosh hit a tree <laughs> yeah it would be kind of cool to be able to actually um, continue the road just to like be able to make a shortcut you know what I mean make my own road this way it's not too steep you could definitely make a road up this yeah this would be easy oh super easy okay so yeah we could do something like that give ourselves a shortcut to get to the um, get to the wood selling point because that is a long ride going all the way around that map. That's a definite, but we could easily make a road going up this hill. That'd be nice. And here we are. Cool. Yeah. Alright. So we will do that. That'll be something I'll definitely be interested in doing. Whoa, there's a tree in the road. Oh my gosh. That's kind of cool. A little uprooted tree. That's pretty wild. There's a couple of them. Oh, that's cool. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I like that. Nice. So yeah, I'm happy with this. I think this will be a fun map to play with. Um, so let's get get myself down to the um, down to the wood selling area and we'll check it out okay so we're at the wood selling area let's check this bad boy it's much different than uh, the Azura map they definitely re revamped this whole area so what do we got here little house over here on the road. I don't think it has any, uh, well, it doesn't have any, doesn't have any sleeping points or anything like that. So, okay, just by looking at this, I'm going to say that's where you bring your, uh, wood chips. That's where you bring your logs. And the other one must be inside the building here. Let's see. Yep. Yeah. And this is where you bring your lumber when it's dry. Okay. Cool. I I like this. I think I'm gonna dig this map. So I think there's just the number one thing is saving up enough money that we can uh, get the right equipment to build a road to make this a lot shorter. That will probably be the number one goal. So, I'm starting off in easy mode. Um, gives you the $100,000 and you know, the essential vehicles you need to get started. Um, I don't plan on you know, using, putting any extra money in myself. I just want to go as the game goes. So, yeah. Let's uh, take the shortcut back and we'll head back to the uh, start point. You know, it'd be kind of cool just to, like, take this road right here, and when we get here, 
just shoot down and then shoot down try to make a road that goes like this like straight through the center of the map that would be kind of a good idea I don't know we'll have to figure that out so let's take a ride that way and see what it looks like otherwise I could definitely use the other way that I want definitely got to figure out how to make these roads less bumpy oh gosh this is terrible <laughs> He definitely ain't driving no car on this. I mean, it's good. It'll, it'll definitely slow you down. But this three wheeler is pretty cool. It's the first time I've used it. My brother used to have a three wheeler. It's pretty funny. Um, funny story is, uh, you know, my brother had a three wheeler and I think I was about eight years old. I, I used to use it, you know, just drive it in first gear around the yard kind of thing. And then um, my mom always thought uh, dirt bikes were super dangerous. So that's when my brother got a th three-wheeler. My brother's older than me. And um, so when I became a teenager, it was actually like, oh, it's my turn to have an off-road vehicle. I want a dirt bike. No, that's too dangerous. Well, my brother had a three-wheeler and they banned those. So I was actually able to get myself a, a dirt bike um, when I was a teenager. So that was pretty nice. So I was able to learn how to ride dirt bikes and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that was fun. Um, so this isn't bad. This is pretty flat. I just got a, I think it's that lot nine that I got ahead for. So this is pretty flat. We could definitely put a road through here. It just depends on how steep this part is. And it's pretty steep. We could probably go down this um, down this ridge like this. Maybe do a switch back. Oh wow. Oh that's steep. Okay. That would be very difficult to make a few switchbacks. It could be done. Be interesting, to say the least. But it might be better to go the other way that I went, because, yeah, this is pretty steep. I wouldn't want to try to drive up this hill with a trailer full of logs. So we'll probably go around if we build a road. All right, let's get back. Let's get back to the start point and figure some stuff out. I like the looks of the uh, spruces that have the branches that go all the way down. That looks like a forest to me. That's cool. Yeah. It's very dense. And I like that. Alright. Gravel. See, I'm wondering if I could just throw gravel on top of that stuff and just level it out. That's probably going to be what I'm going to have to do. But I'll have to play around with it and see what we come up with. But first, I gotta make some money. So let's get in here and see what we can sell. <clears throat> One thing I forgot to do I like to have my vehicle. Where are we? Automatic engine start. I do not like that. I like to start it myself. So now when we get in the vehicle, I have to start. Cool. Alright, so let's, um... Oh, I'm not even hooked up. Let's see here. What we got? Let's sell this trailer. Is this with 136,000? I want to do some upgrades to my uh, tractor if possible. Um, do we have wheel weights? That would be nice. Oh, uh, I don't think we do. Yeah, there's no wheel weights, I think. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, because BKT usually has the wheel weights. 
on some people's mods. So I guess we'll stick with the wide tires then. All right. I'm okay with the color and the rim color. I'm not going to spend any money on this. So let's, um, it's 190 horse. That's good. That's a nice little start starting tractor. So let's go back. back. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to sell this bad boy just to, just to get rid of it. I don't. I don't need it right off the bat, so if I need to buy another tipper, I can get a nice 20 grand for it, so that works. Alright, I'm going to keep the rest of this stuff. Let's go over to... <laughs> the purchase signal. So we need to purchase a log trailer. This is the thing I'm... Um, concerned about because I want a trailer that's big enough to handle some decent sized logs but the only one I can really get for the tractor is this one that has the dolly and I hate dollies they're so difficult to back up um, yeah and I know these are all small and yeah I think I'm gonna be stuck with it for a little while until I can afford to buy a truck and get a trailer so uh, oh well so we are buying this um, this bad boy I want to widen the middle I think that was oh should I do it this way no definitely want the middle to be wider I guess that wheel set up wide wheels I don't need mud flaps I don't need to change the design, I just want the rims to be black. Sweet. That looks good. How much does that come out to? Just, uh... Oh. How did spare wheel come on? I don't want spare wheel. Or do I? No, I don't. I don't need a spare wheel. And I don't want mud flaps. Let's... Okay, I don't know where that came from I thought they were both on no but who knows anyway let's buy this bad boy okay let's go back and the other thing I'm gonna buy is this this thing comes in super handy when you're starting out hitches to the back of your tractor and it's a little it's a little processor I love this mod this thing is awesome I've never researched to find out if they actually make this in real life or not. I don't know if this is like a mod concept or if this is something that's actually real. Um, I'd be interested to know that. I should probably look into that. I would feel like it would have an, a number and stuff if it wasn't. I feel like somebody just made this up. But this is a cool little mod. It uh, definitely makes logging much easier than doing it with a chainsaw. Speaking of chainsaws, I think I need to buy one of those. There we go. All right. So I think that's all I'm going to need right now. So let's check this out. Oh, I know what I need. I need a weight. But instead of a weight, I need my winch. Now, oh, 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 this thing's set up backwards, duh. Why is it backwards? It's gonna make it difficult to get to. There we go. Yeah, I need a, an actual weight. Let's, uh, let's go over and purchase a weight. I'm just going to purchase one. Uh, where would you find weights? Let's, no, I don't want to wait. That's, duh. Let's think of that again. I don't want to wait. I want actual, I want this guy. For seven grand, this thing works out pretty good. It's a nice starting, um, 
winch. I like this one. Let's use that. All right, cool. There it is. At least this one's in the right direction. That worked out. Picked that bad boy up, and there we go. Cool. All right, so I'm setting the tree harvester to nine meter logs. Oop. Um, I'm wondering if that's a good standard because that seems to work out good on Silver Run. So where, what do I own? That's one, something I didn't look at yet. <laughs> uh, okay, so we just own lot three and four by the looks of it. Or maybe this is section one? No, because that's one. That's one, that's two. I must... I'm confused. So that says one and three. Twelve, nine, seven, six, four. So that's interesting. So I, I guess this would be considered one. Um, yeah, they just, the one is over here for some reason. Okay. So we have lot one, which consists of planting lots three and four. Okay, that makes sense. Cool. So we're right next door, right there. Let's check it out. I forgot there's no traffic on this mod. this ditch and maybe it'll, do we own on the other side of the ditch that's a good question yes we do so yeah we own right up to the edge of the um these trees are these old enough eh, they're not quite old enough yet but these are these are i can harvest these trees got a few uh, oak trees in the way though I mean, I'm just going to clear cut it because that's just easier for me. Just go in and do it and leave all the small ones. These little guys can stay. So let's uh, cut down a few trees and we'll load them up and uh, bring them down to the, uh, to the wood selling station and see what we get. Tractor comes in very handy. Probably stuck on something. Eh, it should be okay right there. It's gonna block the road a little bit, but I can push it out of the way. gonna continue logging uh, this forest here and I will see you in the next episode.